<sighs> a guild pal announcement. Pixel's game assistant, the browser extension version 0.3 has been released. So under new features, what we've got is daily pixel earning and coin spend analysis in the tasks, helping you optimize your play to earn life. And as far as upgrades go, there has been enhancement to the tasks tab, such as showing a checkbox icon in achievable tasks, move the lower total cost tasks up, refine the achievability for duplicated tasks, UI improvement. Uh, when you open the Pixels Game Assistant, you will see the last page you visited and there was minor bug and security fixes. Okay, so that's the new pixel and coin spend analysis at the top. That's pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, I love that. And there is an example of the new look tasks. Like you'll see above the value of the items, the green check marks showing what's ready to be handed in. It looks better. It's, it's an improvement for sure. Uh, let's have a look at it in game. So you can see I've had a pretty uneventful day since the update, but let's just nip around and grab the easy stuff that I have so that we can see this new update in action. If you're brand new to the Pixels Game Assistant, I'll go over the base features that didn't require an update at the end of this video. Jump bar heads, some sap, because yes, I will take the two pixels for three sap. <laughs> Buy a few of these tasks, I think, just so you can see that all the while, the extension will keep updating itself in real time at the side of the screen, uh, giving you all the information that you could need on your tasks. So I'm just going to hand in those things that I purchased at the market. You can see there on the right, it's all updating. And there we go. So there we go, delivered five tasks, earned two pixels, spent 46,654, which is a cost per pixel at 23,327. Could be better, could be worse. Uh, hopefully later I will get three grain bowls for five pixels to earn. <laughs> that should even the score a bit. So remember, the only, only the brand new Pixels Game Assistant version 3 has these features with a ton more great features coming very soon, such as the global industry tracking stuff, uh, waiting times on the trees, the grills, the windmills, all built into the Assistant, all these things here. So it looks very good, it looks very good. I'm excited for the things to, it is great as it stands at the moment, but I'm excited for these other things coming. If you're serious about pixels and, and you've got some pixel tokens saved up, listen up, joining a guild would be a fantastic move. And at the moment, GuildPal, the makers of this extension, is actually skyrocketing up the charts right now because of its amazing value. I mean, we've just surpassed pixel.tips and trust me, the membership perks are pretty incredible. The biggest perk, especially for newbies, is the trees, of course. We've got tons of trees, but that's not all. We've got all the all the different land tiers that you need to grow anything, all the industries to level up fast, tons of kilns, woodworking benches, grills. I mean, you name it, we've got it. But uh, here's the best part, right? There's There's no fighting over any of the resources in this guild. Like, this is a collaborative guild where everyone gets what they need. We look after each other and we're trying to build a strong community together. We currently have about 50 players. Because of the mix of time zones and abundance of resources, well, everyone has a very good time in this guild. Nobody has anything to complain about. Unlike some other guilds, not only would cost you twice as many pixels to buy a shard and get in, but like the lands are nowhere near as fruitful and you're having to fight over these lands with sometimes hundreds and hundreds of people. I mean, some of these, I've got like, you're, you're talking like 400 people in a guild all fighting over these meh lands type of thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> Why would you want to do that?
So if you're watching this video and you're not part of a guild, do yourself a favour and hop on over to your Discord and come and say hello. Even if you're part of a guild already, do yourself a favour farmer and put in for a transfer ASAP. The Pixels good life can begin today if you really want it to. <laughs> your new friends are waiting, come on. All the links that you need are in the description. Right, back to the game. So yeah, a quick rundown of the other extension features for those that are new. The storage tab. Yep, you can track any and all available storage chests in the game. And perhaps my favorite and most useful tab would be the super duper handy timers tab. So that this windmill, for instance, it's being used for another seven minutes, right? So on the right, I'm going to click custom, give it a name, I shall call it mill, and then set it for 6 minutes 45 seconds and hit OK. You will see it has created an active timer and has automatically filled in the land number. Now I can go about my business and try and snipe this mill when the timer gets to zero. You can create as many timers as you like, so another mill here, 7 minutes. While those two mills are being tracked, I can show you that there are preset timers also built in. For example, if you hit an apiary, just click the B icon, and there you've got a 45 minute apiary timer set for Terra Villa. The chicken icon for the chicken coops. The pickaxe for the mines. The slug for the sluggery. And you've even got grumpkin timers up there so you don't forget to water them once planted. What more could you ask for, eh? If you can think of anything else that would make a great addition to this extension, by the way, please leave a comment below. I will pass them on. Uh, if you know any other helpful tips for Pixels, please share. And that's it guys, that's my update video for the Pixels Game Assistant by Guildpal. All important links are in the description. All I ask is that you like the video please, think about subscribing, and if you do decide after watching this to come and join us, then please let Guildpal and Discord know that I sent you, okay? <laughs> Thank you very much, until next time, take care, see ya.